Can you transform into a chiseled Greek god with nothing but a couple of dumbbells? You bet your last protein shake. Because we're about to embark on a journey that'll make you question why you ever needed anything more than these unassuming hunks of metal to sculpt your physique. First off, hit that subscribe button like it owes you money and drop a comment like it's hot. Picture this, a four-day muscle marathon that'll have you flexing in the mirror and wondering if you're the long-lost cousin of Hercules. This is not your grandma's knitting circle. It's a dumbbell demolition derby where the only casualty is your current physique. Dumbbells might seem like the underdogs of the gym arsenal, with their flashy machine counterparts hogging the limelight. But here's the scoop. Sticking to the basics with these bad boys can catapult you into the league of extraordinary musculature, sans the need for a gym membership or a home gym that looks like a NASA training facility. Feeling confined by your dumbbells limitations? Pfft. Child's play. So your dumbbells are maxed out and you're feeling like a superhero in a straitjacket? No sweat. Crank up the reps, slash those rest times, or get creative with your moves. Ever tried doing squats with your heels perched on a stack of old encyclopedias? It's like regular squats went to a party and came back with a tattoo. Now let's break down the game plan. We're going to divvy up the grind into workout A and B, flipping them like a burger at a summer BBQ, any sequence that tickles your fancy. And before we dive into the deep end, let's talk warm up. This isn't a suggestion, it's a must. We're not just talking about a quick stretch here and there. We're talking light squats, push-ups, getting that blood pumping and those muscles warm. Remember to warm those joints up. We're talking light squats and push-ups. So grab your dumbbells, roll out that yoga mat and let's get this show on the road. Let's dive into workout A folks. First up, we have the bench press or floor press. No bench, no worries. Get down on the floor and press those dumbbells up to the sky as if you're pushing away a swarm of zombie weights. Or for a twist, load up a backpack for a weighted push-up party. Aim for 8 to 15 reps of showing those dumbbells who's boss. Next, we're going to work some back magic. Vertical pulls may not be possible, but there are alternatives. Try some pull-ups on a door frame, pullovers on your living room rug, or get creative with a broomstick and some imagination. Give those lats a stretch until they could double as wings. Do this for three sets. Moving on, we have the shoulder press. Whether you're standing or sitting, press those weights overhead like you're lifting the world's tiniest car. Go for 8 to 15 reps of pure delt dominance. Next in line we have the classic bicep curls. Because let's face it, we all want to be able to flex with confidence when someone asks if we know the way to the beach. Give me 12 to 20 reps of arm-altering awesomeness. Now let's isolate the triceps and shoulders. Skull crushers and delt flies will give you that. I casually lift boulders for fun, look. Aim for 15 to 20 reps to sculpt those guns. And finally, it's leg day. Every day. Front squats and Romanian deadlifts will make your lower body as legendary as your upper. And don't forget calf raises on the stairs, because who doesn't want calves that could leap over a small car? Give me 8 to 15 reps of pure leg fury. That's it for workout A. Each move is a stepping stone on your journey to becoming a stronger, more confident you. Remember, the goal is not to rush through the exercises, but to work through them with control and precision. It's not about how heavy the dumbbells are, it's about how you use them. Rest, hydrate, fuel your body with good food and get ready for workout B. It's going to be a whole new adventure. But for now, take a moment to revel in the burn. You've earned it. You're stronger than you were three minutes ago, and that's something to be proud of. Stick with it, and soon you'll see the fruits of your labor. You'll look in the mirror and see a stronger, healthier, more confident you staring back. And that, my friends, is the power of dumbbell training. And that wraps up workout A. Feel the burn yet? Moving on to workout B, let's switch it up a bit. It's time to give your shoulders the spotlight. Row those dumbbells like you're breaking out of Alcatraz and knock out those incline push-ups like a seasoned pro. First up, we've got the shoulder press. This time, we're going to switch things up by doing them seated. By sitting down, you're keeping your core engaged and preventing yourself from using momentum to lift the weights. Remember, it's all about control, not just moving the weights from point A to point B. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps, making sure to keep your back straight and your core tight. Next, we're going to row those dumbbells like there's no tomorrow. This exercise is great for targeting your upper back and improving your posture. Make sure to keep your back straight and pull the weights up towards your chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. Go for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now it's time for incline push-ups. 
Not only does this variation target your chest, but it also engages your core and your lower body. Find a sturdy surface, like a bench or a step. Place your hands on the surface slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and lower your body until your chest nearly touches the surface. Push your body back up to the starting position. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Don't forget the hammer curls. This exercise targets your biceps and forearms, giving you those cheese grater muscles we all want. Hold the dumbbells with your palms facing your torso, keep your elbows close to your body, and curl the weights while contracting your biceps. Go for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. For that horseshoe look, we're going to do triceps kickbacks. This exercise isolates your triceps, the muscles at the back of your arms. Hold a dumbbell in each hand, hinge forward at the waist, and keep your elbows close to your body. Extend your arms until they're parallel to the floor, pause, and then return to the starting position. Aim for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Finally, we're going to finish off workout B with lunges and squats. These exercises target your lower body, giving you legs that could kickstart a jet engine. Remember to keep your chest up, your core engaged, and your knees in line with your feet. Go for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Remember, consistency is key. Whether you're a bodybuilding pro or just starting out, these exercises will help you build muscle and improve your fitness. Keep pushing yourself, but also listen to your body. Rest when you need to and fuel your body with the right foods. And with that, you've conquered workout B. You're doing great. Short on time, enter antagonist training, the superhero team up of workouts. Just like Batman needs Robin, your muscles need their counterpart to function optimally. Antagonist training is about pairing exercises that target opposing muscle groups. Think biceps and triceps, quads and hamstrings, chest and back. It's like a two-for-one deal at your favorite store, but instead of clothes, you're bagging muscle gains. When one muscle group is working, its opposite number needs to relax. This allows for a more efficient workout, as while one muscle group is pumping iron, the other is taking a well-deserved breather. It's an exercise in balance, a yin and yang of muscle groups, if you will. Now let's talk about how to pair these exercises. You could start with bicep curls followed by tricep kickbacks, then move on to squats paired with Romanian deadlifts, or how about bench presses followed by bent over rows? The possibilities are endless, but the goal remains the same, to challenge your muscles in a balanced and efficient way. This method not only saves time but also increases the intensity of your workout. Your heart rate stays elevated, you burn more calories, and you get that sweet, sweet pump that we all crave. It's like getting a first-class ticket to Gainesville without having to spend hours in the gym. But remember, it's not about rushing through your workout. It's about being efficient and focused, quality over quantity always. So keep those movements controlled, focus on the mind-muscle connection, and let your body do what it does best, adapt and grow. So there you have it. Antagonist training, the secret weapon in your fitness arsenal. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes, opposites do more than just attract. They work together to create something extraordinary. Share your tales of victory in the comments. Let's start this journey with dumbbells in hand. And remember, the path to greatness starts with a single rep. So grab those dumbbells and show them who's boss.